Dozens of people have been killed in Russian missile strikes on Ukraine's second city, Kharkiv, officials say. Kharkiv has just been massively fired upon by grads, rockets. Dozens of dead and hundreds of wounded, Interior Ministry advisor Anton Horashenko said in a post on Facebook. The attack came on the fifth day of the Russian invasion as negotiators from both sides held talks in Belarus. Other major Ukrainian cities remain under attack from Russian forces. Videos shared on social media showed rockets landing all over Kharkiv, in what some defense analysts described as typical of a cluster munition strike on a dense urban area. The fighting has already caused more than half a million Ukrainians to flee their homes, while millions more are seeking refuge underground. In the capital, Kyiv, the bulk of Russian forces are about 30 kilometers, 19 miles, outside the north of the city, slowed by fierce Ukrainian resistance, according to the UK Ministry of Defense. But street-level fighting continues in several parts of the city. Despite the danger, a two-day curfew has been lifted, with residents emerging from underground shelters to buy food and gather supplies. Kazania who spent more than 36 hours underground, told the BBC she had managed to get home. I can't describe how I am feeling, I'm happy to stay alive and safe and just have the possibility to see my splendid and beautiful Kyiv, she said. Meanwhile, on the northern border with Belarus, Ukrainian and Russian officials are meeting for talks for the first time. Hopes for a breakthrough are slim, but Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said there was a small chance to end the war. The United Nations human rights chief, Michelle Bachelet, said millions of civilians were being forced to huddle in makeshift bomb shelters such as underground rail stations to escape explosions.